Hello everyone and welcome to today's uh, Cyber Gamer Ladder Match for the R6ANZ region. We have Obsidian versus Aftermind. And let's see how this goes. So looking through the lineups, we do have Beer Scotch, Sparky, Cynics, Moist, and Funk coming out for Obsidian. While we do have Sleddy, Sky, Tep, Nexus, and Noob from uh, for Aftermind. So Aftermind on the defense first, and they are going to take the Wine Cellar and Snowmobile Garage. So we do have Thermite, Habana, Blackbeard, Twitch, and Buck coming out for Obsidian. While we have a Valkyrie, Jaeger, Smoke, Bandit, and Mirror from Aftermind. Now this is for seventh place on the CG ladder. I do believe um, Aftermind sitting in seventh, and uh, I believe Obsidian is on tenth. Uh, this should be a very good match uh, between two teams. I do expect an Aftermind victory. Uh, that is going to be my uh, my prediction. I do think it'll be five. Three, but I think we're gonna have some very close rounds as we do get into it. We do have a uh, need to locate wine cellar and snowmobile garage defense coming out for Aftermind. And we see Nexus just blowing some holes just to make an easy and bandit trick for him. Of course, with those bandit tricks, I uh, the entirety of this fork, uh, the wooden section, and Beer Scotch has left the game. So Sinks is calling for a rehost. Alright guys, we will be back very shortly. Five seconds to go.
Hello everyone and welcome back to uh, Obsidian versus Aftermine. Obsidian have already used their uh, restart as beard did drop during the very first prep phase. Um, now the same operators and same bomb site have to be picked, so we are going to see Wine Cellar and Snowmobile, Snowmobile Garage for the um, uh, for Aftermine who are on the fence, and we are going to see Blackbeard, Havana, Twitch, Thermite, and Buck with Valkyrie, Jaeger, Bandit, Smoke, and Amira for Aftermind. Um, this should be a good match as we wait for people to load again. So, uh, this is for 7th place on the ladder. I did double check. So, Aftermind uh, are at 7th and Obsidian are in 10th place. Uh, so, this should, be a, uh, this should be a very good match. Again, I am expecting an Aftermind of victory. Um, probably 5-3, I think, or maybe even a 6-4 is what I'm Attackers going to predict to here. But I do think bomb. it will be an Aftermind of victory. Either way, we are going to see some very close rounds, some very good matches. And, uh, sorry, some very close rounds, some very good rounds, and this should be a very good match overall. So, Nexus just blowing some holes in the wall, uh, so he can hear quickly, so he can hear better. So this, to me, does say he will be bandit tricking. Um, so if I was, uh, sitting in right now, I would be saying to the guys, Alright, let's go upstairs, we take control of, uh, top floor, we take control of fireplace, we, uh, buck the, uh, we buck the floor. And uh, you can kill Bandit here, so you can then Thermite open this hatch. Or alternatively, you ignore it entirely and push Five through the wine cellar. Into the wine cellar here. So we do see a double reinforcement. We do see a mirror on this wall here, which is uh, quite odd to me. Usually it's on the other side, um, but we will have to see how that will come into play. It's probably to try and stop. Uh, it's probably try and make it harder for the Habana up top, maybe down onto that wall. And the other mirror does go into the garage facing wall with a. Uh, uh, with a shield there. So we do have indeed have um, Obsidian pushing for this. Um, uh, pushing for this uh, side. So currently he's got some barbed wire banded. So the bandit does go down. Nexus doesn't get it as it was faked by uh, by Beer himself is going to be pulling this bandit trick. The claymore does go down. The twitch drone is going down. And they do shoot it out, and he will not get the Habana, so they do get that one. Nexus now going to be placing that and uh, just getting out of town. Um, I do believe both Twitch drones are gone. Attackers yes, they are, so they the cannot bomb. deal with that. Um, they cannot deal with that uh, that battery, and they do just back out. So Sparky going to be pushing in. Uh, just see if he can try and take it out, but he will not be able to though. Um, Moist has been taken to half health though, as he has gotten to a fight with uh, someone. And Nexus has taken out Funk, and that is the buck gone. Nexus taken out to half health though in reply, and uh, pushing in through the front, maybe. Obsidian still not quite sure what they want to do here. Cynix is pushing in through the back. No, he is going to go into Kitchen Trophy instead. We do have Sparky on his drone now. Uh, going to be droning out for, I do believe that is Moist who was there. He's going to blow a hole in the wall into Bar. Beerscotch has gone into Wine Cellar. So we are going to see a blue hole and a Wine Cellar push coming out of um, Obsidian. Time to make a new game. And uh, Biscotch does pop the first one. He does have Cynics above him, so he knows no one's there. He's just going to place a drone and get Funk to watch it. Very dangerous as that was getting blown out. Probably could have been run out of. He do has Nexus on the other side, though. And he does pop the mirror. And Nexus doesn't take a shot at him. What was Nexus watching there? Nexus now sees him and takes out Beastosh. The diffuser has been dropped. Cynics now is... Oh, he could get picked. Next, um, and Noob has taken out Moist. But Cynics takes out Nexus, though, but does lose his shield. It is now a two-on-four hit. We do have a Sleddy up above. He's going to find Sparky. Take him out. It is now all down to Cynics, who takes out Sky, but loses his final shield in reply. He is in a bit of trouble now. He is versing three. And Noob from AU will take him out through the barrels for the first round going over to uh, Aftermind. A great hole coming out of Aftermind. Uh, most of the 1v1s seem to have gone their way except for the Blackbeard ones. Um, having a look at the kills for that, we did have two to Cynics who was that Blackbeard. Nexus on two, Noob on two, and Sleddy 
for our, uh, on one. Um, so, uh, Blackbeard's two shields getting him two, uh, netting him two kills, but after he ran out of shields, he ran out of, uh, life, and he did go down. Defenders, protect your So we are going to see Obsidian take the attacker. kitchen and trophy room, which is generally the preferred bomb site, uh, for most, uh, for most teams. Um, so we do have, they are going to be running a mirror, so we do see Valkyrie Bandit, uh, Mute, Mira, and a Smoke coming out for Obsidian, while we do have Habana, uh, Thatcher, Ash, Glaz, and Thermite coming out of Aftermind. Uh, this lineup to me says that they think they're going to be, um, basement. So this is going to be very interesting to see how they deal with it. Uh, having a look at who's drone is left alive. We've only lost Sleddies at this point. And uh, we see the double reinforcement set up from Obsidian with a barbed wire in the door. Uh, we, see a the uh, we see a look through hole, no rotate hole. Now Cynix makes it a rotate hole in front kitchen into trophy. We see the barbed wire going down there with no door though. And uh, just a reinforcement here. What do we have upstairs? We have the double hatches and that's it. So there's a lot of reinforcements that haven't come into play. Meanwhile, Nexus! has cleaned up uh, Funk straight off the bat. But, uh, and Tep is now up on the uh, gazebo here. Won't be able to do anything from this far back. No one is going to step into that line of sight. Nexus, though, is going to be droning up. Uh, oops. <laughs> Uh, wrong button. This is going to be uh, pushing his way into the front, uh, into the bathroom. Sorry, knowing that no one is here, Sky has droned it out for him. Sky now is going to be joining him. Sleddy pushing up from the back. I would argue Sleddy should have gone into master bedroom, and popped that hatch ASAP. If he dies here, they're in a little bit of trouble. Meanwhile, Tep is droning out for him. Calls that it's all clear. He does run down to downstairs to make sure that there are two roamers here actually. Lights out. Oh. What is Moist and Beersquash going to be able to do? Meanwhile, they do get spotted out. The drone finds both of them. He's holding a very, um, not a very tight angle here. Uh, he should probably be looking through the wire, I think, or maybe even holding a tighter angle. Meanwhile, Cynic's still on site, and Sparky holding the four. He does see an army daggers. of drones come down the stairs. Not going to be able to do anything about it, though. As uh, Noob does spot him at. Um, he does have one of his... Uh, one of his mirrors is popped there. He has double mirrored it next to each other. Uh, Moist is still downstairs along with Obsidian. Uh, along with Beerscotch, sorry. Um, what are they going to do here? Just going to be holding the top. Sleddy hasn't used any of his... Um, hasn't used any of his... Uh, his uh, ex Kairos is still sitting around this blue section. He's going to run into Beard and takes him out. Beard does take him down to about 60 health. Though. Meanwhile, Sparky has picked up Tep with a C4. That is the glass gone. And Cynix gets taken out by Noob. Moist, though, going to be coming out the side. Sleddy does find him, hits him in the head. And now it is down to just Sparky. He does take out one. He has another two people to find, though. Uh, and he does not have control of Kitchen. Uh, he is flash. Uh, he takes him, uh, takes him, uh, um, pot shots there. And Sky is going to be walking into sight. Sky is planting. He can't quite see him, but he stops the plant. He doesn't kill him, but he does down him, and that is the plant gone. Sleddy now has to either revive plant or kill. 15 seconds left. Sleddy is going to go for the kill here. He knows exactly where he is now. And he pushes through. And Sparky takes him out with the uh, 1v3. Takes it home for Obsidian. And Obsidian now come back with a kitchen trophy defense. All tied up now. One for one. Uh, we'll have to see. After mine now, we'll be probably taking the kitchen trophy room. There it goes, as they did have a successful basement defense earlier. And we do see a Valkyrie, Jaeger, Rook, and Smoke so far come out of after mine with a bandit to round out their lineup. Well, we do have a Buck Ash currently holding on Thatcher, Habana, and Fuse for Obsidian. No, they do change Thatcher out to Sledge. So that's Fuse, Habana, Sledge, Ash, and Buck coming out for Obsidian's final lineup to push into the kitchen trophy room. Defenders, protect your bombs. And we'll have to see how they do want to attack this. As Aftermind, uh, do all pick up their Rook armor, except for the Bandit who does go uh, running. Where did he go? 
Oh, he was reinforcing the top. I missed him there. And, uh, we'll have to see how Aftermind do plan on setting this up. So they do reinforce the trophy wall there. Uh, they put two reinforcements onto the kitchen outer wall. That is to stop a glass shooting from uh, this rock here all the way down through this kitchen window, through this wall, and picking up your trophy sitter. Five seconds to go. Uh, that is a very harsh one, by the way. And we are going to see by the looks of it a full set of reinforcements on the kitchen the wall, except for maybe this one here unless this guy gets it now. No, so we are going to leave the one blank. What do we have upstairs? Only the hatches, and they are going to leave one hatch unreinforced themselves. Noob is sitting in the bathtub. We will have to see how that comes into play. And uh, I do expect to see Obsidian with this fuse pick means they do want to take control of the top floor. And they are going to be more importantly taking control of office and uh, master bedroom here. But they do have a noob from AU. Uh, a noob uh, from... I think it's noob from AU. Uh, Two deal with here and uh we'll have to see how that goes meanwhile sleddy is also currently upstairs i think he's in the library and he is on his cameras and cynics takes out noob just like that and uh that is uh the master bedroom and offices uh they've got control of now sleddy on these cams now does spot two of them out there he does know there is a fuse so they do have to be very careful right now and uh i would be very worried if i was any after my players sitting downstairs at the moment as he is just going to try and hold a peek. See who he can find. Cynic's now droning up. Will he spot him? I don't think he will. Yes, he will. He's come all the way around. He finds Sleddy. Pings him on the drone. And uh, his drone will be shot out by Sleddy. Sleddy does miss it. Feeling very panicked right now. As we will go back to Sleddy's view. As they do want to deal with him at this point. They do know he's there. And they do need to deal with him. And now he's just going to take this very slowly. And Nexus takes out Funk. Meanwhile, Moist does trade back onto Sleddy. And, uh, but Sky comes up and takes out Moist. We did hear one fuse go off. He's used all three charges at this point and doesn't have anyone. And there goes the final one. It does go off. And... It doesn't feel like he's picked up anyone. And now he's just going to blow the hell out of the floor. See what they can find. And he is just going to rappel down to try and make Attackers a distraction. A uh, Sky's still sitting on this stairwell. Nexus, uh, Nexus feeling very vulnerable with that hole below him. Tep currently sitting in the dining room. Bushes right now. Prone on the floor. Sky still on the... Uh, oh, Sparky will find him. They trade shots. He down Sparky. And he finally takes him out. He has now... Uh, two more to find on the side of Obi. Sky finds Cynix. It is now all down to Beer Scotch. Just like that. Here's him come through the front. 15 seconds left. He has the diffuser. He needs to go for a hero play here. Puts a couple of pre fires down. He's going to try and go for. Oh, and the hole in the wall does come back to bite them as Nexus will take him out through the Habana hole. Their own Habana hole taking them out. Working against him, he could not get the plant down. And uh, we see this trend of defenders continue. Uh, defenders winning, sorry, continuing. And uh, we will now see Obsidian have to take Wine Cellar and Snowmobile Garage. Well, uh, after my know this, though, we do have Habana, Thatcher, Ash, Glass, and Thermite coming out for them. So this is the exact same lineup they ran last time. So it does. And we do have a Smoke, Mirror, Jaeger, Bandit, and Mute coming out for Obsidian to defend the Wine Cellar Snowmobile Garage. So this is the exact same attacking lineup uh, Aftermind did on the last attack, which makes me think that they thought Obsidian were going to take the basement first. The However, now they can run their lineup again and get exactly what they want. And uh, interestingly enough, we have the exact same lineup from Obsidian as well, having no operator changes. And uh, so it obviously means they have a plan. Sparky places down the... Uh, Places down one mirror, and he will put the second one on this wall here. Move from AU with his drone in the trench right now, seeing that no one is there, and they have a full reinforced uh, wall on trench side. The bandits, I would be putting the bandits on this wall here, um, and probably on uh, those two walls there, and then just leaving it. I wouldn't be bandit tricking, it is almost impossible at this point on this map. 
And uh, I do expect, with that glass pick after mine, yep, yeah, a very heavy helipad spawn, or lakeside, I think the spawn's actually called. And another two on cliffs by the looks of it. And, uh, oh, a beer scotch is taking out Nexus. Where was that from, beer? I think it was from Games Room. Just took out one and then backed off. And, uh, but to me, that says that they are Do going that. to thermite the ore. And I think a mutual... No, it did go off. We just had a uh, glitch there. And so they have opened up the, um, the hatch. The flashbangs come out of, uh, noob. Not running that claymore. And, uh, no, not going for the push. Tep is not there, interestingly user. enough. I would have thought that Bomb the glass would have been absolutely attackers. mandatory down at that point. And it does look like instead they're just going to open it, blow a whole bunch of utility, and then run around the other side. Uh, which doesn't make a lot of sense for me if you're going to waste that utility and then not do anything with it. They do pop a hole in the wall there. Cynix does see Sky outside. He is going to hold a very tight angle under the snowmobile. We'll have to see if anyone's going to peek it at all. Where is Sleddy? Yeah, it does look like they are going to push into the other side here. Uh, they're going to push into Wine Cellar Snowmobile, which is very interesting to me. And they are going to leave Sky as a threat to try and stop anyone uh, reinforcing back into Wine Cellar. Unfortunately for them, they have... Um, Obsidian have a very good hold in the wine cellar at the moment. Sparky will be the first one here to notice them. And finally, uh, they do see the Habana hole come out there, so they do know exactly where they are and what they're doing. The glass shots are coming through. We'll have to see who Tep can hit. Usually, you'd see this get played by a Blackbeard. Uh, especially after his nerf. I'm kind of amazed that they're still running the lads. He's still a very strong operator and provides amazing um, protection. And Beastcot is taking out Sleddy. So that is another roam we've been taking care of. Beer and Moist looking after their behind. Uh, paying off wonders. Tep now going to be pushing in still. Just trying to wait for Sparky to push. And we do have Noob going to be going around the side. They will take him out and force him out of there. Meanwhile, he does. Uh, Sparky walks straight into Tep. But Tep misses all his shots. And Sparky gets out of there with about a two-thirds of his health. They need to be very careful behind him. As Moist is going to be pushing down here. As Noob from AU takes out Sparky. Cynix has taken out Noob in reply though. We are now down to two versus four. And Sky through the wall takes out Cynix. I'm not sure how he knew he was there. But either way, cleans him out. He is going to try and plant the diffuser here. He's now a three. Meanwhile, Tep has taken out Moist. It is now a two on two. Attackers are activating the diffuser. And the diffuser is now down. Tap trying to go after Beer Scotch there. Defenders have located the diffuser. Funk pushing up right now. Throws the C4 out. Does not kill the Glaz, which is what he wanted there. And they do have to deal with them. Behind the radiator. And Sky takes out Beer Scotch. He's now trying to go for a miracle diffuse right now. And Tep will clean him up and aftermine. Wins, uh, takes out round number four. Now three to one up. All right, so moving into round number five, uh, we do have uh, Aftermind going back to the wine cellar and snowmobile garage now um, with a successful defense of the kitchen trophy room. So we are going to see a Valkyrie, Jaeger, Bandit, Smoke, and Mira come out for Aftermind while we do have uh, Monty, Havana, Thatcher, Thermite, and Buck coming out for Obsidian. So, a Monty out of uh, Obsidian. So this to me says they are going to be pushing in through or the Wine Cellar Snowmobile. And, as many bombs as they can. and uh, Nexus again putting in uh, Hulk into this front here. It paid off last time as he was able to bandit trick very nicely. He got he got uh, the first thermite. He almost got the Habana. Um, unfortunately, though, the Habana did manage to open it up in time. Next is now going to reinforce those hatches. We do have um, the hold there going on for, uh, into the back of the one cellar facing the main garage. And we see again the... Uh, the odd side mirror wall coming out from uh, Aftermind there on the left insertion. of the storage room instead of on the right. Which is what you normally Attackers see. And uh, let's have a look at hatches. They do have the two main ones reinforced and they left the wine cellar hatch unreinforced. 
so Nex is looking to mana trick this. And however, they are going to be placing a two man there. So will he get both of them? Yes, yes, Nex has got both of them right there. One Habana and a one. Um, one Habana and one Thermite is gone. What are they going to do? He loses his first Habana charge. He now only has one left. He needs to get out of there as they are running a Thatcher this time. He does get out of there and chooses not to die. However, they did open up um, his side. And Beerscotch will be able to get his... Um, will be able to get his uh, Thermite charge open now. On Monty Plant into the front here. Synex goes fully extended. Running a blitz, uh, running a blitz shield charm, ironically. And uh, who has the diffuser? Beer Scotch does currently on his drone, just trying to make sure he can actually get away with this. They do see the smoke there, as he is currently under the uh, under the trailer. He does know smokes there, and they do have to deal with the smoke, or else this plant will be stopped. Reloading. I expect them. Do they have anyone else with them, actually? Habana's still covering them? Yes, Habana's still covering them. Uh, Habana does need to move over and cover the smoke throw um, while Thermite tries to go for a plant. They need to start this plant. Um, as Moist is taking out Sky, but Tep trades back onto Moist. Beerscotch now going to be trying to go for the plant. Nexus peeks him. Does not hit anything. The smoke missed. Meanwhile, they get the diffuser, but uh, Tep takes out Beerscotch. Beerscotch does get a down. Be paid for it with his life. And they are uh, Tep now coming out to try and face the Monty. He doesn't get killed. As Sparky misses all his shots there. As Tep now finally does come out to deal with Sparky, but Sparky does actually trade him back there. And they are going to try and go from behind him. They are running out behind him. He takes out Sleddy. There's another one behind him. And yes, they are going to take the Monty, but he downs Noob. But that is everyone gone. And uh, Aftermine, I'm going to push for the. Uh, the fusing hit over the kill, Defenders which is the right move to make. They get round two, and he, he then goes Defenders and picks win. up his mirror. What a play from Aftermind. They get the flank. They wait till everyone pushes at once, takes out the uh, last defensive attacker. Deal with that uh, Deal with that Montes. He couldn't kill everyone there. And uh, then take the win. So Aftermind, now on match point, they are ready to take this game. 4-1 is the current score with Obsidian on the defense. Defending kitchen and trophy room. They did defend this successfully last time. It is the only time they've defended this So we will have to see if it will be successful this time We are going to see a smoke mirror mute bandit and a rook come out for obsidian as they change out the valkyrie And it is habana thatcher ash glass and thermite coming out for aftermine on this final attack and uh, They should be expecting um, Obsidian to be on the uh, kitchen trophy I don't know how, um, I don't know how, uh, Aftermine are going to be planning on attacking this as they're running the exact same lineup again, not changing anything for where they know exactly where Obsidian going to be, and they don't change out anything. So, they have worked out where they are. We don't see anything too crazy coming out of the reinforcement for Obsidian, but we do see, uh, actually, this is different. So, they've reinforced, they've opened up the floor left. up above. They've opened up all the, uh, They've opened up a fair chunk of the wall Five up above. And, uh... Attackers have they haven't reinforced the hatch. Which to me says they're trying the to... They're gonna try and hold upstairs. Moist, gonna bust out this door. We'll see what he can do on this mute. Gonna try and be holding the upstairs. Beerscotch comes and joins him over in the library. Gonna be watching the ladder. I don't think anyone's actually gonna come up that ladder. That ladder's a death trap. Meanwhile, they have busted out the uh, <laughs> they have busted out the uh, window behind him. Moist needs to be very careful. And Nexus has gone up to the other side. He's going to try and push into bathroom here by the looks of it. Tep just taking pot shots into the bathroom to see what he can see for Nexus. Nexus, ooh, almost lost his train down the hall there. That would have cost him dearly. It's not even open. They haven't even opened the window. He needs to go for it. He's feeling very choked from that window behind him. As he just cleanly jumps in, they didn't even drone it for him, I don't think. No, I lie, Sky did drone out for him. As Sleddy is going to be droning out the library, he will see Beerscotch. He finds that bandit and just backs away. Meanwhile, Funk takes out Sky. And uh, Beer finally deals with that uh, drone, so they know exactly where he is. 
Punk running the P90. He's picked up Tep as well. That's currently a 2k. He takes out Nexus. That's a 3k for Funk. He's only got two more to find, and it's an ace. Biscotch gets down by Sledding. They know exactly where he is now. He is on the stairwell. And uh, it is now uh, Noob and Sledi versus four out of Obsidian. Funk, however, is very low. Moist through the wall. Doesn't quite find him. Sledi has got some work to do. Moist has gone down, though, as well. I believe that would be uh, Noob who has uh, actually done that. He doesn't know he's down, though. Trying to be very cautious because you don't get the indicator that he's down. So I suspect he doesn't know he's injured. Sledi is going to push him from the other side. Finds Funk, downs him. Again, doesn't know he's downs him. Sees all the blood. Is uh, Jumps the railing to see if he can find him. Noob takes out Moist. Brings out his bearing. Sees that he's down and cleans him up. It is now a two on two. Cynix throws out his smoke grenade. And Sparky now is going to be holding the western stairs. While uh, we do have Cynix going to be holding the uh, the kitchen win uh, the kitchen door. As no... Sparky does come over to try and hold him. I think the call has gone out. The both are going to be attacking in. We do have Sledi trying to push in. He gets he gets pre-fired. And Cynix takes him out with the shotgun blast. Sparky misses all his shots. It is all up to Noob. He's going to drop the hash by the looks of it. No fear. And Sparky takes him out through the floor. Then that is a beautiful defensive uh, defense of the kitchen trophy. With the hero of the day. Definitely has to be uh, Funk there with his 3k. All right, going through the scores as we set up for around number uh, seven. We have Sparky on seven, zero, and four. Beer Scotch on two, two, and six. Cenex on five, two, and four. Funk on three, zero, and six. And Moist on three, one, and six. Meanwhile, for Aftermines, we have Nexus on six, two, and four. Noob on six, zero, and four. Sledi on five, one, and five. Sky on five, zero, and four. And Tep on four, three, and three. All right, so moving into the seventh round, we have uh, Aftermind defending the Kitchen Trophy Room. We do have Valkyrie, Jaeger, Rook, Smoke, and Bandit coming out for the defense with a Blackbeard, Havana, Sledge, Ash, and Buck coming out for Obsidian. Attackers need to locate and defuse bombs. So we'll have to see what they plan on doing. This was a successful defense oh, last time. Tep has just TK'd Sky trying to kill the hatch. That's not a good start. That's not good. Uh, that's not a good start at all for Aftermind. As uh, Sky on that five kills. I want to see the F for respects, boys. Pay your respects in the Twitch chat for Sky. As uh, Nexus decides he does not want Sky on his team anymore. Ten seconds to go. <laughs> Five seconds to go. As uh, it's a fairly standard setup so far coming Attackers out of the city, the and they have the shield either. in front of the ground to protect to them. A bomb uh, barbed wire right in front of the uh, wall. They unfortunately have no ADS charges down. Um, <laughs> so they are very susceptible Attackers to grenades. Who do we have? We have Sledi roaming currently, and I think we have Noob roaming as well. We have Noob up in the hallway. How will Obsidian plan on pushing this with the man advantage? Cynix loses his drone to barbed wire. He finds Sledi in the library, actually. Moist up the top there. He needs to be very careful. Just going to check his drone again, make sure he has moved. Sees that he has moved. He does need to move it around to find out where the hell he's gone. He does see him there, oh, and Sledi sees the drone, takes him out, he needs to be very careful now. Tries to hit him up through the wall, doesn't hit anything, and the games commence. How is, what is Sledi going to do? He's holding uh, the angle where he can't be shot in the library, and he's just going to watch the door behind him. They could potentially send someone else to deal with him. Meanwhile, Noob, uh, in the office now, has been pushed out of the hallway by the looks of it. Nexus holding trophy room, and we have Tep sitting in kitchen currently on that smoke. Swapping mags! And Moist is taking out Sledi now, but uh, Moist does take most of his health in reply. He's on about 10 health now, maybe 20. And we'll have to see where they'll go from that. Is now a 3 on 5, however, Moist very, very uh, hurt. Noob sitting up in the office. I don't know if he's been droned out yet, but he is the next target for Obsidian as they push through. And Tep has gone down as well from a nade, I believe. Yeah, Funk from below takes him out. The nade comes out. Funk takes him out with his two nades. And that is now a two on 
four, uh, two on four here. Two on five, sorry. And uh, Noob does need to do something right now as Nexus is trading shots with Funk, takes him down to half health, and the Rook goes down to about 60 health as well. And oh, Funk! Nexus doesn't quite pick him up as he runs down the stairs. Noob from AU up top needs to apply pressure here, needs to do something, or else Nexus is simply going to get overwhelmed as they are going to be coming in. Funk going to be pushing in here. Crash on his drown. Moist picks him. Uh, Noob picks up Sparky, but Moist picks up Nexus. Noob does pick up Biscotch as well. Drops the thing. He finds Cynix. Downs him. It is now a two-on-one effectively, unless they can pick him up. Moist coming up from the back. And that is Funk going down as well. Is now effectively a one-on-one. -on -one. Moist with a no not a lot of health. And Moist takes him up with an absolute nail biter of a round coming out, and Moist just clutches it out. Got to be really, really uh, worried about that. I um, I really thought that uh, that Noob was going to take him. I really thought Noob had that. He almost clutched, but he just didn't quite pull it out. Turned away at the last second. So, as it is now 3-4, to four, we are still sitting on match point for Aftermind. If they win this, they do win the game. Uh, we are seeing a Wine Cellar Snowmobile coming out of for Obsidian, while we do have Smoke, Miri, Jaeger, Bandit, and Newt to defend that Wine Cellar Snowmobile. And Habana, Thatcher, Ash, Glaz, and Thermite will be attacking for Aftermind. Attackers need to locate and defuse as many bombs as they can. So, Obsidian on a two-round win right now. They need to be, uh, they need to keep this momentum continuing, and they will need to pull this into overtime. Obsidian just need to win this single round and they will win the game. As we see of the half wall uh, of the wine cellar snowmobile. Uh, sorry, wine cellar snowmobile. Of the uh, wine cellar storage. Get mirrored with the trench wall being fully reinforced there. And uh, it looks like they are going to put the, uh, the final mirror on this wall with potentially a, uh, I think... Sparky runs a shield. No, he's got Nitro. Not, does Jaeger have a shield? No, yeah, there's barbed wire as well. So no shield for them. While we do have a ton of barbed wire going along the front, Biscotch is going to be roaming by the looks of it as he does barricade a door behind him. Funk, on this mute, going to look to deal with Sky here. As Noob is taking a lot of damage there, and the mute does go down, but not fast enough. The Thermite goes off first instead. And they're all down as I think they got the, um... Yeah, they got the Habana off as well. And Sleddy has left the game. They do need... Uh, has dropped, sorry. They do need to finish off the round before they call a rehost. Bomb located by attackers. Alright. And now, so it's a four on five hit. Nexus Attackers does take out 180s as he moves in. Tep droning Attackers out at the moment. The Noob looking like he's going to come from wine cellar side as well from the trench. Sky going to be holding this angle behind um, behind the snowmobile as they are going to be pushing in. Meanwhile, Cynix holding the wine cellar. We do have uh, Sparky sitting in. Oh, he does see that glass smoking out. He, do, he does know that people are there. He's calling in someone's there. And will Sky come around? Yeah, Sky's been called around as well. If they pop one, oh! The Glass takes half his health in reply as he does smoke out. As now, he knows what is coming. He is going to... Uh, he is now going to get out of dodge as he moves into behind the drone hole now. And he gets taken out by Sky as Sky walks straight in. Now a four on four, as we have Noob holding their back. He does have the diffuser. So it will be Noob that will be trying to plant. Nexus draining out. The drone does get taken out. Nexus is going to be pushing in through the uh, through the snowmobile garage here. Funk on this mute. Is anyone watching their back? Cynix is above him. Teb's taking out Beer Scotch here. It is now a three on four. Later, next. After mine having lost no one. The smoke grenade does come down from above him. They do know exactly where Cynix is at this point. 40 seconds left. Cynix just needs to keep throwing out these smoke grenades to stop the plant. We will have to see. Oh, he takes out Sky through the wall. As uh, Noob does try to get some shots onto um, Smoke. 
but Moist is taking out Tep and Sky has fallen, obviously, as well as now. All down to Noob here, as he is just waiting for Obsidian uh, to push him. By the looks of him, he's got 15 left. seconds left and he has the Diffuser. He's being very worried right now. And Funk will take him out, and that is round 8 coming out for um, Obsidian, and he's now 4-4 four to four and overtime. As I will, just see if we want to rehost for Aftermind. Yep, okay. So we are going to have a rehost for Aftermind, guys. I will be back very shortly.